within the next six months, our, our telcos, Safaricom, Airtel, Telecom Kenya, Jami Telecom, they have come together to produce the first truly Kenyan handset. Yeah? We mean business. And we are going to reverse this trend. I want, the next time we have this kind of bilateral meetings, I don't want to ask my president to come and unlock the imbalance of trade between Kenya and South Korea. Our Kenyan coffee is one of the best coffees in the world. And uh, most of the coffee taken out or taken all over is blended by the coffee. We bring coffee here, then it's sold, it's used to blend other coffee, and then uh, we can get it back at very exorbitant prices. One of the things that we are doing is that we are adding value to our products. So when we sell coffee, we, want to, we don't want to sell raw coffee that comes here and then it's processed and then it's sent to the rest of the world. We'd like to sell coffee here that has already had value addition. It's already processed. Uh, you have made history as the first head of state and government of the Republic of Kenya to make an official state visit to the Republic of Korea. Uh, on behalf of the KCK Secretariat, and all Kenyans resident in the Republic of Korea. I would like to extend our warm welcome to you and all the Kenyan government officials present. What you have done today by making this trip at the invitation of His Excellency President Yoon marks a journey that is going to transform the relationship between Korea and Kenya. So all the things that you've been agitating for, the hardships you've been having in Korea, I expect a good amount to be resolved by the fact that our head of state is here and he's going to table some of these issues and we at the mission will continue to follow them up. We have come here to transact business on behalf of the people of Kenya. We are looking forward to a couple of meetings and um, among us the items that we are looking to discuss with our counterparts here uh, matters of security and how we can um, enhance our security posture as a country. As Kenyans, we have the best human capital anywhere in the globe. Yes. Yeah. And we must recognize that. We have the best human capital anywhere in the world. Speaking good English, creative, innovative, hard-working, self-driven, yeah? <laughs> friendly, educated. You rarely get those many qualities in one bundle of a human being, but you get them in Kenya. <laughs> and it's because of that spirit that Kenyans are different everywhere they go. And because we have a competitive advantage in our human capital, we must leverage on it. Kenya is now growing to be a big exporter of avocado. We are already the leading exporter of, uh, of tea. We are the leading exporter of coffee out of the continent. We are exporting 95% of all our tea unprocessed or semi-processed. That is going to change. We are probably the country in Africa that has close to um, 90 percent green energy, and we intend to take it to 100 percent. And we have a plan on how to leverage our position so that we can attract funds to be able to manage the damage and loss occasioned by climate change. We want to set up a mechanism that is approved and understood by the government of Korea so that we can have opportunities for Kenya to work here legally, you know, in a, in a structured manner, because uh, that is the relationship we want to, to have with, with, the, with the government and people of Korea. In the next 12 months, every government service will be on a digital platform to reduce on costs, 
to uh, reduce on unnecessary bureaucracy. And that is why if you read our manifesto, we have built into our manifesto and expanded 100,000 kilometers of uh, digital superhighway that will bring on board additional areas.